Hi everyone, let's make a quick recording of this requested problem. Problem number 181 from section 2-3, the Calculus Volume 3 Opens Textbook. And here's a quick description of the problem. You have two forces, F1 and F2. F1 lies along a vector OP. P is at the point 1, 1, 0 in space. So OP is the vector 1, 1, 0. F2 lies along the vector OQ, which is the point 0, 1, 1 in space. So OQ is the vector 0, 1, 1. The magnitude of vector F1 is 20 pounds, and the magnitude of vector F2 is 40 pounds. So remember, F1 and F2 are not the vectors OP and OQ, but F1 and F2 are along those two vectors with their own magnitudes. So the question asks you to find the magnitude of F if you add F1 plus F2 to make F, find the magnitude and the direction angles of F, not the direction of F, but the direction angle. So it's practice using the direction cosines and the direction angles. So first let's describe F1 and F2. Now remember the beauty of the unit vector. The unit vector F1 direction must be the same as the unit vector OP direction because F1 lies along OP. I can find the direction of OP very easily. Say OP divided by the magnitude of OP and the magnitude of OP is root two. So one over root two, one over root two, zero. And here I rationalize the denominators to make simplification easier. That makes F1, remember every vector is its magnitude times its direction. So F1 is mag F1 times direction of F1. The direction of F1 is root two over two, root two over two, zero. So mag F1 20 times that is 10 root two, 10 root two, zero. Likewise, we can compute the direction of F2, which matches the direction of OQ right here. And then we can find the actual F2 vector by taking magnitude times direction, zero, 20 root two, and 20 root two. Now this means F is F1 plus F2 will be 10 root two, 30 root two, and 20 root two. Find the magnitude of F, I just square each component, add them together and take the square root. So that's 200 plus 1800 plus 800, square root of 2800, take out the 100, 10 root 28, and inside 28 there's a perfect square of four, 20 root seven, that is the magnitude of F. Remember the direction of F is F divided by its magnitude. We were asked for the direction angles, not the direction, but we can begin by finding the direction of F, which is 10 root two, 30 root two, 20 root two over 20 root seven. But notice, this is a great time saver. Notice that F is parallel to one, three, two. It's in the ratio of one to three to two, positive one to positive three to positive two. That means finding the direction of F and finding the direction of F2 result in the same unit vector. It's the power of the word direction. It's the power of the direction vector, the power of the unit vector. It's easy to find the direction of 1, 3, 2, whose magnitude is root 14. So 1 over root 14, 3 over root 14, 2 over root 14. You get the same result from doing the simplification but this saves you the trouble of doing the simplification. Next, notice that F over mag F, the direction of F, remember from the direction cosines, is the cosine of alpha times the cosine of beta times the cosine of gamma. And alpha, beta, and gamma are the angles that F makes with the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis respectively. Here I've drawn the vector F in perspective, correct perspective, but not the correct length. So this drawing is not to scale. So we just use this as a schematic drawing, a drawing that represents the reality. 
But using the direction cosines, and remember the direction cosines, cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma, the sum of those squares is one, the square root of the sum of the squares is one, the value of the direction cosines was there an automatic unit vector for the vector you're examining. They're the angles made for the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. Therefore, all we have to do is take the inverse cosine of each of those quantities, one over root 14, three over root 14, and two over root 14. And we have the angles alpha, beta, and gamma, 74.5 degrees, 36.7 degrees, and 57.7 degrees. That is to the nearest tenth of a degree. These are the direction angles of F and the magnitude of F to the nearest tenth of a pound is 52.9 degrees. Never ever forget the value of the unit vector, the value of the direction vector, and the value of the direction cosines.